Hello and welcome to this exercise on sketching the graph of 0.5 sine 2x plus pi. Now I'm going to go through the, the normal traditional process, uh, graph of sine x and graph of sine 2x and graph of sine 2 pi plus 2x plus pi and then the graph of half sine 2x plus pi and then there's going to be an exercise at the end. Now, Towards the end, I, I'm going to show you the, uh, a shorter method of doing this rather than going through the whole process. Now, this is the first step in the traditional method of trying to sketch a graph. And you can see that from, uh, from this little phrase here, that x is greater than or equal to 0, or less than or equal to 2 pi, and that will give, you, give us one cycle. 1 seconds from 0 to 2 pi. Now, the next step in the traditional method is to uh, sketch a graph of sine 2x. Now, we know that the 2 uh, indicates that there are two cycles between 0 and 2 pi. We can also say that 2x is between 0 and 2 pi. If, it, if you divide every term by 2, you end up with x is between 0 and pi. So in effect, uh, one cycle will be between 0 and pi, and the next cycle will be between pi and 2 pi. Now, the next step is to plot the graph of sine 2x plus pi. Uh, I've arrived here using um, formulas, for instance, um, I can, if I divide 2 pi by 2, I know that uh, one cycle will be pi. So to get to 2, to two pi, we need two cycles. Okay, hence 2 there. But I shall explain what I've done by hand uh, using modern uh, PPT te technology. So from the last slide, we saw that x is between 0 and pi. That will give us one cycle. Now for this one, we're saying that between 2x plus pi, the, uh, the 2x plus pi is going to be between 0 and 2 pi. But we want x. So, if we subtract pi from every term, we end up with 2x being between minus pi and plus pi, because 2 pi minus pi give us pi. If we then divide every term by 2, we end up with x being, be, being between uh, minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. And that's all you have to remember, that except that this time around, instead of your graph starting at 0, it starts at minus pi over 2. So in effect, there is a phase shift of minus pi over 2. And this is all you have to remember. Right, now this is, this is now our final step. Um, because the amplitude is a half, we have to uh, reduce from one to a half. So the graph in red is now, it's now our final graph. Now, for the exercise, can you try and superimpose on, on this graph or your graph of half sine 2x plus pi? Can you superimpose on, on that, the graph of a half sine 2x and see what you get? Okay, it's quite interesting. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and hopefully i see you again sometime. Please, please subscribe and have a great day. See you. Bye-bye.